propitiated two entities, how can you believe in two persons? Three persons, actually. Three persons as well? Three persons. Yeah, because right now I was talking about Jesus in his divinity and God is divinity. That's why when I ask you the question about Jesus when he was a baby, do, I, do you agree that that same baby was also God? Yeah. The thing is, no, just, just answer the question now. It's really simple. No, but I answered you before. Man. Okay, was Jesus a baby? When Jesus was a baby, was he also God or was he in, in his humani humanity? In his humanity? Yeah. So when Jesus was a baby, was he God or was it just his human nature only? It was Christ. Yeah. So whilst Jesus was a baby, he was also God at the same time. He was Christ. He was a he was the entity that you worship. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to run away, but I've answered your No, because the thing is you're not able to okay, establish where was Jesus' can, divinity. Can I just add one thing? Look, look. Basically what we say is this here. Yeah? Islam Islam basically means submitting your will to Allah alone who deserves all worship from us, yeah? So he's the one single supreme creator of all of us who deserves all worship from us. Do you agree with that? Yeah? The one single supreme creator who takes care of us. Do you agree with that? That's an unforgivable sin in, 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 um, in Islam. But that's not, that's not an unforgivable sin in Christianity. Now, do you agree that you have one single creator? One creator? Yeah, yeah, you have one creator, not more than one. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Okay, so the reason why you agree with that because this is this appeals to your natural inclination, your intuition. Yeah? Now do you agree that, that one single creator deserves all worship from us? One single creator. Yes, that we should direct our worship to him alone. We don't worship created things. Do you agree with that? Okay. Fantastic. Now if we can agree with that, that means it's agreeing with your intuition. Your reasoning would tell you any multiplicity of gods or trinities or triads goes against your intuition of accepting you have one single supreme creator that deserves all worship. Do you agree with that? So your reason, your sound intellect will tell you, look, if I have one single supreme creator that takes care of me, who's given me all the provision, then logically speaking, anything that is created does not deserve to be worshipped. Do you agree with that? Okay. Now Jesus was created by God. Now, according to your theology, you will not say that. But think about this. Allah says in the Quran, in chapter 5, verse 75, Allah says, look at Jesus and his mother. They both used to eat food. Now, I, I want us to really ponder this. If Allah, our single supreme creator, who deserves all worship, if he is free from sustenance, he is not dependent upon anything. If Jesus, if you say Jesus is God, does he need food to keep himself alive? Like I've said a thousand times, I've said many times to him, Jesus is not a God, there's two divinities in one, so you have two in one. You like, cannot um, say two divinity, that's a heresy. Like, say from, say from. You cannot no. say two divinity, that's a heresy. What, 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 two what, two what? No, are you talking about the hypostasis union, divine nature, human nature? I'm talking about two, two natures. Okay, so not two divinities, that's a heresy. So you mean two natures, divine nature, the human nature, right? Yeah. But you agreed me, according to your sound intellect, anything that is created is not worthy to be worshipped. Created means it has a beginning, it's brought into existence. So Jesus, was he brought into existence? He has a beginning, that's why you go... Not the Christ. Christ, Christ, pre, Christ pre existed, he existed pre um, Okay, but do we adopt the, but we're adopting the Gregorian calendar, 2023, what does that mean? I don't, I don't know where you're going with that. Okay, do you know why we say 2023 according to the Gregorian calendar? No, it's, it's saying Jesus was born 2023 years ago. Now, I because, that. Yeah. I'm not talking about Jesus right now, I'm talking about Christ. Okay, good, good. Let's talk about Christ. So, what I'm talking about is Christ. You existed. You existed. But Christ was born. Christ was not born, no. Christ was not born. No. That goes against your theology. Why? Because you believe in the virgin birth. Of Jesus. Yes, so he, so he was born. Why would, okay, why, good. Why would God cause confusion to us when our intuition tells us that our one single supreme creator is self-sufficient, does not eat, does not require to eat and drink, and then and then God will suddenly create us confusion, believing Jesus to be God, but he's eating and drinking like us. It might be a confusion to you, but it's not to me. No, it's very simple. Because, no, 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 no. no. Say Christ, you keep no, because the thing is, that what they, the, the conversation that I had with this individual, okay, so the conversation that, the conversation that we're having with you is, yeah, you said that Jesus Christ always existed. No, when I asked you, yeah, Christ existed all the time. So when I asked you the question, did Moses, did Abraham, did they worship Christ? What, what was the answer? 
So when Moses, Abraham, who are righteous messengers, which you believe are sent by God, do we agree or do we disagree that they worship Christ? Were they commanded to worship Christ or were they commanded to worship the Father? They bowed down to, to Christ in the Old Testament. Where was Christ? Where's that? Where's your proof of that? Are you, are you, are you Jehovah's Witness? Are you Jehovah's Are you Jehovah's Witness? Oh, oh seven-day Adventists. No, no, but you, you just believe, said do you believe Jesus was Angel Michael? Do you believe that? Why? No, no. You just said angel. Sure? You just you said, said angel right now. Angel. You just said angel right now. Uh, one of the Christian, one you of the said, Christian well, denomination believes. He said that. Abraham bowed down to Christ, and Christ became an angel. Are you saying Christ was an angel? So he, he was an angel then. So you, you just said he. When it says angel, Lord of the angel of the Lord. It's talking about Christ. So did Christ become an angel, or he was an angel? But you believe Christ was an angel? Christ is a God, Christ is an angel, Christ is a baby. What else is Christ now? That really goes against your... What else is Christ? No, seriously, seriously. So the thing is, what you're doing is, what the big mistake that you're making is that you acknowledge that Jesus has a divinity, yeah? And you acknowledge that same Jesus is God. And now you're you're applying that same God to different creations now. That doesn't make sense. You believe in one person of, of Jesus. Look, look, if, look, Jesus is in need of the Father. If Jesus is in need of the Father, how can he be God? We're talking about Jesus right now, we're talking about Christ. But Christ, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Has God. Jesus as God. Can we say that terminology? Can we say that? Jesus as God. Christ Okay, if we, look, if we, look, we eat and drink, correct? Yeah, we, we, need, we need sustenance, yeah? We need to eat and drink to keep ourselves alive, yeah? So are we God? Why not? Because we're humans, we're humans, we're fine. And according to the Bible, is Jesus a human? Back no, no, no. It's very simple. It's very simple. Very, very simple. According to the, according to the Bible, in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, chapter number two, verse number twenty-two, Peter says, "Hear, O Israel, listen to this: Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved by God. What did he say? A man approved by God. By one is a miracle of signs which God did through him, and you are witness to it." Do you accept that? Jesus, Jesus is a man. According to Peter. What did I say? Then? No, no. I'm saying to you. you accept Jesus him? is a human being like us. He's to eat and drink like us. Is it befitting of the majesty of God to defecate? In the restroom, in the bathroom. What, what happens when we eat and drink and when we go to the toilet? Is he worthy to be worshipped? Is he God? Jesus. Jesus Christ. The second person, the, the second person of the Trinity. That's a heresy. That's a heresy. Because no, no, that's a heresy. Because you believe that that pre-existing uh, Jesus came down as a man, same essence, not two different essence. Yes. Jesus. Do you know why? Do you know why you're making a lot of contradiction in your own creed? Because this goes against your intuition. Yes. It goes against your reason. You I have one single supreme. Source, you want to find an error. But that's what I'm saying. No, no. I'm not trying to find error. I'm trying. I'm just trying to say you have a set of contradictory beliefs. Yes. That's what I'm saying. So whatever what we. Whatever's impossible, yeah. man. So, so look, God, I don't want to debate with you. I don't want to debate. Answer. What's your name? What's your name? Samuel. Samuel. Nice yeah. to meet you, Sam. My name yeah. is Rahan. I'm not here to debate with you. Yeah. We're only here just to invite you to worship the God of Jesus, who deserves all worship, one single supreme creator of all, who's given us privilege to worship Jesus. No, worship the God of Jesus, whom Jesus worshiped. That's all we're saying. Worship the God of Moses. And we're not saying to you, Samuel, we're not telling you, disbelieve in Jesus. No, the Jews, what did they do? They call him illegitimate child. They call him the false Messiah. We condemn that. Yes. But we don't go to the other route by saying, you know, let's overpraise Jesus to the status of God or giving divine figure. And we can't even do this with Muhammad. Yeah. He's no more than a messenger. Jesus is no more than a messenger. Muhammad, Moses, Abraham, Moses, all of them, they came with that same message. Worship Allah alone, who is our single supreme creator of all. Don't worship created things. Don't associate partners. That's all we're telling you. We don't worship multiple gods. Okay, do you worship Jesus? Do you call upon Jesus? He's going to say Christ. Let's say Christ. According to your uh, vocabulary. Okay. Do you worship the Father? We, we acknowledge him as Lord. Okay. Yes. Do you worship the Christ? That's fine. Do you worship the Father? Yeah. Do you worship the Holy Spirit? No. Okay, so how many people are you worshipping now? One person. Homo, homoesis. Christ is made through. Christ is made from, from the same substance as the Father. Yeah, I, know, I, I, know, I know that, but what I'm saying is, is Christ, a to the Trinitarian model that you adopted, is, is the Father, does he seek permission from the Son? 
if he wants to do an act, does he need permission from the son? Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. The, no, the father. Does he want? Does he seek permission from the son to do his act? To do what he wants? Jesus. No, I'm asking the father. Does the father need to ask? Does the father need to ask the son to do things? Good. But does the son can he do whatever he wants, or does he have to go by the will of the father? Jesus has to go by the will of the father. Fantastic. So you know, in Arabic, that's a Muslim. So that's the point. Which is, if if Jesus is establishing the will of the father and not himself. Christ, not Christ. Christ. Sorry. Christ Christ. No, 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 no. Uh, you're, 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 you are, uh, you are giving your statement of belief, but I'm trying to make you understand that this doesn't make sense. This goes against your sound reasoning. It doesn't make sense to, to the, the human finite mind. Is Jesus a human? You need, you need the Holy Spirit to, 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 to teach you. Okay, I'll give you a comprehensive definition of God. God is one without any partners. Do you agree with that? God. Yes. Is one. Yes, one. One without partners. No associates. One and only. Do you agree with that? No, he has, as I said, he has, there's a trinity. There's a tr so that conflicts with your theology because you cannot say two, three gods. You have to say one God. But do you believe? So who, so who is the only true God according to Jesus? One person is the father. Is the father one person, two person, three person? The father. Yes. He is three persons. Take care of yourself. Then that means you're you're outside the fold of Christianity. That's a heresy. Yeah. I think if any Catholic, any Protestant, you call yourself solid scripture. If anyone heard no, you no, what you no, said? No, 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 I was, I was making a prayer. Yeah. I was making a prayer. Yeah. I know. I know. You're, you're, you're not a Christian. I think if I any if any Christians watch this that's discussion, that's I don't mean to humiliate you. I, I'm not here to humiliate you. I'm just trying to say that. Look, me that again, because maybe I'll maybe I'll word it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. When Jesus says the only true God is the Father, is he referring to one person, two person, or three person? Yeah. Yes, the only true God. There we go, thank you. So, if, and that's all we are saying to you, Samuel, worship that one, one entity whom Jesus worships. Yes, I do, yeah. So why are you praying Jesus? Who did Jesus worship? We don't, we don't pray to Jesus. You don't pray to Jesus. So you know when you pray, do you call upon Jesus? No. So you only call upon the Father? Yeah. Fantastic. So Jesus is not divine then? You're coming closer to Islam. This is what Islam teaches us. Jesus came here. He's one of the mightiest messengers of God in Islam. Jesus, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Jesus being Saviour. I believe and all Christ, prophets were saviors. They came here to save the people from darkness in July. Uh, not, from polytheism to monotheism. Our Bible doesn't say that. Huh? Our, our Bible doesn't say that. Jesus means savior. And then Christ means Okay, so let's Christ. move on now. So, so now, so, okay, good. So now let's we agree. Need so, need so, sorry, so now let's agree that the only true God is the Father who's the creator of all things. And that we don't call upon Jesus for help. We don't call upon Mary for help. But we believe Jesus is the Messiah. Let's agree on that, yeah? So let's, let's now move on. Jesus as the savior. Now, I want to hear your your uh, understanding of Jesus as a saviour, and then we'll respond. I think there's a progression. In the Old Testament, the, is the, the Israelites, they, they, they sacrificed, right? They did animal sacrifices um, for their sins. But they can only sacrifice for so long that they still, you know, it wasn't a perfect sacrifice, like the Bible says. So, so we need someone who's going to be the, the, the eternal sacrifice once and for all. We need the pure sacrifice. And Jesus, came, Jesus Christ came for that, for that reason. To, to be the ultimate sacrifice, to be the eternal lamb of the world. Because they sacrificed lambs, they, they, they sacrificed lambs. Um, to sacrifice, they made, they made sacrifices of pure lamb back, back then. So they need an ultimate sacrifice to sacrifice, make sacrifice for their sins. Jesus um, is prophesied, prophesied in, the, um, in Genesis. He said that the Son of Man come and bruise the serpent, the devil. The Son of Man means obviously being the Son of Man coming from the man. Jesus prophesied, prophesied and he, he, he fulfilled that goal. So that's why he came. 
Are you finished? Five, oh, five minutes, minutes before okay. prayer. Okay, just that one. So are you finished or would you like to expand? I'll see you in a bit. I'll respond. You're not going, are you? No, not after Muppet, no. I'm going to later on. Yeah, I need to pray Muppet. Go, go. Is there anything else to add to expand? Otherwise, I'll respond to you. Well, I'll just wait for you to... Okay, no problem. So you mentioned that Jesus uh, is the Lamb of God that needs to sacrifice for the people's sins, for the atonement of sins. Um, and this is found in the Old Testament where animal sacrifices is done for sins, correct? And Jesus is the perfect sacrifice yeah. for the atonement of our sins. Okay, first of all, if you look back to the Old Testament, animal sacrifices are only done for unintentional sins. Okay? For unintentional For unintentional sins, yes. If you read in Leviticus, yep. So, uh, that's the first point. Secondly, um, secondly, Jesus was not physically a lamb, is he? He doesn't have four legs and a wool, right? So this, yeah. So symbolic. Symbolic. But so you cannot apply something symbolic to a physical lamb. Can't be human. And in fact, the Bible very many says that human sacrifice is wrong. So you can't use animal sacrifice. 